Hi. Uh, Terrence, great news. Um, well, it might be great news. So let me ask you a quick question. The transit van you picked out, is that the right vehicle? Yeah. Equipped yeah. the way you said it had to be equipped? Yeah. For right color combination? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because there's no such thing as a good deal on the wrong vehicle. So we got the right vehicle. Please remember, it comes with a three-year, 36,000-mile comprehensive warranty. It comes mm -hmm. with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. It comes with five years of roadside assistance. That alone is worth 300 bucks. comes with three months of serious radio. Okay, that'll save you another $45. First three years of maintenance, we're going to pay for it. You don't pay for it. That's about $300 worth of maintenance. And I told you you couldn't pay too much for this van, didn't I? You did. Okay, because if you will, if when you take delivery today, if you find that same van with the same benefits uh, anywhere else on this planet within the next five days for advertised for a lower price, what I tell you we'd do? Uh, cut cut you a check back for the difference. That's the best value guarantee. And you can't get stuck with a van you don't love because we have a 72-hour exchange policy. Got it? All that comes with the van. With it? Yes, sir. Sounds good. There's the uh, market price. There's the uh, resist all. There's the market adjustment. Um, there's the amount to finance. Over here, I'm going to give you choices. Down this side, I've got different terms. This will be the highest payment anybody in the state of North Carolina will show you. It's also the payment that will save you the most money in finance charges. It's the uh, payment that will allow you to build cash value quickest and trade it sooner. It's also the payment that will get you to the dream payment fastest, which is zero, okay? Down here is the payment that is most comfortable because it's a longer term. It's also more flexible. You can gain all the benefits I told you about up here. You just do it in your own time frame, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, up here, you've got cash down. The more cash you put down, the more money you save. The quicker you build cash value, the sooner you pay the son of a gun off. So do me a favor. Pick the cash down amount that works best for you. Uh, a couple questions. Sure. Uh, what is this uh, market adjustment? What is that? Um, that's a market-based price. Um, last time you bought a car, Terrence, when was it? It's 22, maybe 2019. Um, I'm going to guess that the I'm going to guess the dealer gave you a good discount. Oh, absolutely. And may have e there may have even been a factory uh, rebate. How did you know? Well, because those days are long gone. <laughs> okay. Look, back then, a market-based price required that the dealer provide you a discount. Um, oftentimes, the factory had to throw in a rebate. We had to do that in order to move the vehicles off our lot. Now things have changed rather dramatically. I'm sure you've seen the news, okay? There is a massive shortage of new vehicles. The shortage is due to a number of factors. Started with COVID. Um, a, morphed into a semiconductor and microchip shortage. Then supply chain issues with uh, with palladium, aluminum, um, and a bunch of other metals. So what we've got right now is a shortage of inventory, which means we're going to have to add twenty nine ninety five to make this the market based price. I understand that, Mr. Richard Steve. Is it okay to call you Steve? You may call me Steve. I understand absolutely. That, but um, I, I can't do that. Yeah, I, I, it's hard to swallow. I get it. I understand. What I'm going to say next, Terrence, is going to sound a little crazy, but it's the absolute truth, and I'll provide you all the evidence. This $29.95 market adjustment is actually a discounted price. So how can, can that be? How can that be? How can that be? So it's two twenty nine ninety five discounted. It's... But that's a plus onto the MSRP. On top of the MSRP. Okay, you can show me. Yeah, it's a discounted price. Okay. okay. Um, you're familiar with Edmunds.com. You may have even done some research there, right? You know it. Okay, well, look. They compile data every single month, and they provide it to consumers. There's another website out there called iccars.com. They literally teach people how to buy cars. They give them advice on how to get the best deals. This is where the information I'm about to give you comes from, all right? This is a report that came out in April, mm -hmm. and here's what they said. 82% of new vehicle buyers are paying over MSRP, all right? And here's what they're paying 
on average over MSRP, almost 10%, 9.9%, which works out to be an average of $3,753. That's the market-based price for this vehicle, but we're not going to do that to you, okay? Terrence, this $2,995 is literally an $800 discount off the average that people are paying for new vehicles. Well, Steve, I understand that. I'm going to now part of the 82%. So how can we take that off? Oh, you want to be part of the 18%. Absolutely. Okay, well, shoot. I wish you'd have told me that a couple hours ago <laughs> because I would have sent you to a teen percent. I mean, there are some vehicles that aren't in high demand, okay? Um, there are new vehicles that there are, there's a bigger supply than there is a demand. And those are selling literally for MSRP, but they're not selling for over MSRP. Look, Terrence, this is all about supply and demand. It's economics 101, okay? Um, the supply of vehicles has gone down dramatically. You, you walked around our lot. You know, we didn't have a lot of choices. Fortunately, we had the right vehicle, which is quite frankly what you brought, what brought you here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me uh, interject. So sure. I did see, it's not a 22, but I saw like a 20. Had a little bit more miles in this way cheaper than that. Um, you know, I'm just kind of doing my shopping. You know, as a consumer, I like to shop around. Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna show you something else that's a little crazy too. Okay. What's that? That 20? Mm -hmm. 21 or 2020 you saw it yeah, there with a few more miles? Mm -hmm. Remember how much it was? So that was it was probably was around probably 20, like 28, 29. Yeah, 28, 29. Yeah. You know how much it was last year? How much? 22. Now hmm. think about that for a second. <laughs> okay. It went up in value in the last 12 months. On average, vehicles are going up 30. Let me find it here. They went up 30% last year. So you literally could have bought that vehicle for six thousand, six or seven thousand dollars less last year. Okay? So now, um, would it make sense for you to pay twenty-eight as opposed to thirty-six? Yes. Because um, you know, again, that's gonna be up to you, but I'm gonna put it this way. Um, this vehicle, you're used to buying vehicles and having them depreciate twenty-five percent as soon as you drive mm -hmm. over the curb, right? Yeah. That's, that's the way it's always been. Right. Terrence is not that way anymore. Now I can't promise you that this vehicle will appreciate. But what I can promise you is it is not going to depreciate like it used to. We literally have vehicles that are one year old that we're sell selling very close to these amounts. Wow. Okay? So when you think about it this way, number one, you're still getting a discount off the market-based price of about 800 bucks. Okay? That should make it more palatable. Number two, when you take delivery of it, you are now in an asset that is not going to depreciate like it used to. May it appreciate? It may. I don't know. Nobody can predict the future. But all I know is this. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting more new vehicles in inventory anytime soon. Yeah. The chip shortage is still there. I've got one of my friends who ordered a, a Ford Bronco, and it's two months overdue. The Bronco is built, but there aren't enough microchips to put in the vehicle to have it function properly. So that Bronco has been sitting on the ground, probably in Louisville, Kentucky, for two months waiting for microchips. Mm. You've got a vehicle that's right, ready to rock and roll, but we can't dance unless you okay this right here and pick one of those payments. Uh, what is this? Re re resist all? Resist all. Resist all. What is that? Well, um, is the value of your investment important? Yes. Okay. Um, a big part of this investment mm -hmm. is going to be the resale value, whether it be two, three, five, six, ten years from now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What the resist all is going to do is it's going to protect both the inside and the outside of your vehicle. Look, every time we get a shipment of new cars, which isn't very often anymore, but when they come in, they come in on a truck. And guess what those vehicles are covered with? Um, I guess resist all. No, they're covered with plastic. Ah. Okay. 
at the factory, they put plastic on these vehicles. They put them on the roofs, they put them on the hoods and the trunks, in any other place that's exposed. Why do you think the uh, factories do that? To protect it. To protect it from acid rain, bird droppings, um, tree sap, mm -hmm. things like that. Do you know how long the paint warranty is on a new Ford? No, how? Zero days and zero miles. There is no paint warranty. Now, defects they'll cover. But when it comes to acid rain, bird droppings, tree sap, um, loss of gloss due to uh, sun, there is no uh, warranty at all. What this is going to do is this is going to keep your paint looking better. And by the way, the number one reason someone buys a used vehicle is because it looks good. So the better your vehicle looks when you go to trade or sell it, the more money you're going to get for it. It will dwarf this $900 and change. It'll dwarf it. <laughs> Your interior is going to be protected as well. Okay. Look, I told you this was going to be a fast and fun process. Have you had some fun so far? Uh -huh. You sure as the devil are slowing us down. Okay, I need you okay one of those right down there. Yeah, all right. So this makes sense. This doesn't make sense. What? Well. Which, uh, which, I, I, which part? How, how about this? If I can, is that 38? I do it for 36 out the door now. <laughs> yeah. No, you won't. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to happen. All right. I have, look, we can take Terrence, one. Terrence, Terrence, here's what you're doing. Bless your heart. You're doing exactly what you've always done when you bought cars before. Yes, I'm okay. used to it. Yeah, and, and I get it. The world has changed. Everything should be a whole lot easier and smoother right now, but you are causing yourself problems here. All right? This is the number. And when it comes to the payment, the payment Payment is merely a matter of mathematics. Um, if you want a lower payment, put down more money. Okay? I can't afford like 60, 60 months. How, how, well, how much? Do, give, give me a cash down, then we'll work, then we'll work from there. Uh, I'm probably going to do 500 best today. 500. Okay, please recognize this. When the cash down amount goes down, the payment goes up. All right? Again, basic mathematics. Mm -hmm. Let me um, look. Let's say that... You could put down 500, 2,500 times, that's 45. This payment right here would go up to about 850. Okay? You don't want to pay 850, do you? Nah, I think I'm on the wrong. No, no. <laughs> You're on the right vehicle. I know you can make the payment. You just don't want to. I get that. I get that. All right, look. What I'm going to show you next is going to, it's, 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 you're going to think it's voodoo mathematics. See, you work with me. Okay. Here's what you don't want to do. some water and coffee or something. You don't want to make a 60-month payment at 850. You don't want to do it. Okay? I don't blame you. But in fact, you're not going to pay $850 a month to drive this vehicle. Ah, hmm? uh, yes. Sounds like a riddle, doesn't it? Riddle me. It's not, it's not really a riddle. Okay. Terrence, look. Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to write a check. You don't want to sign it. You don't want to make it out to Ford Motor Credit. You don't want to send it to the bank mm -hmm. or the lender. Okay, because you, like most people, think the lender's going to keep all that money, don't you? Yeah. That's not the way it works, mm -hmm. okay? okay? Look, this is a $36,000 vehicle. Well, $36,000, we can go and sign right now. Thirty-eight. No, I'm talking about just, I'm not talking about taxes and things like oh, that. Okay. I'm talking okay. about the vehicle sales. Okay. 33 plus 3 is $36,000. Yeah. Given that depreciation has slowed down massively, mm -hmm. what do you think that vehicle would be worth in five years? If you just drive it like you intend Maybe. on driving it. Maybe 25. So, when you make that last payment of 850 bucks a month, what comes back to you in the mail? Title. Title. It's a title that's worth $25,000. It's also a title that's called free and clear because it's only got your name on it. Mm -hmm. Okay? You got a phone on you? Yes. Pull out that phone. I'm not going to have you dial 911. <laughs> I'm going to have you uh, divide 25,000 by 60. 
or 16. You know, Terrence, everybody knows that when you buy a new car, a new truck, or in your case, a transit van, that there will be some depreciation. Not as much as there used to be, but there will be depreciation. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. But what not everybody knows is that every time you stroke a check for a monthly payment on a car, truck, SUV, it doesn't matter, there is a savings element to it. You're actually building cash value in that vehicle. Do you know what that 416 represents? No. The amount of cash value you're going to build in that vehicle every time you make an $850 a month payment. So, metaphorically speaking, when you send that check to the bank, 416 of it is flowing right back to your title. In, in essence, it's a savings account. So, instead of paying $850 a month to drive it, that's what you'll pay to own it. We got to subtract 416. That would be 4, 8, and 3. You're going to pay $384 a month to so, drive the vehicle. So you're saying I can drive it? You're going to drive it for 384 So that's my payment? You know what? Do me a favor. Take 850 subtract 416 It's 484. I'm yeah, sorry. 434. 434. Uh -huh. See, that's why we have calculators. <laughs> You're going to pay 850 to own it. You're going to pay 434 to drive it because when you get done paying for it, you got a $25,000 paid for asset, no car payment at all. Okay? okay? However, in order to make that happen, I need your okay right there. Mm. You like that? Mm. I like that. Okay. That's advanced okay. shit right okay, there. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know how many salespeople <laughs> in the country can do that? Less than 1%. Wow. Okay.